All right, so in this video lesson here, we're going to sort of talk about uh, split. Either you can do split letters or you can do split shapes. And uh, I do see a lot of people, they're, they're doing it this way, where uh, you basically split this down the middle, and then you have a little bit of bar shown on the top, a little bit of bar shown on the bottom, and then you're, you're pulling it apart. But what uh, ends up happening is you're, you're distorting the original shape. You know, I should be able to place this heart right back over on top of this, and it should resemble the same heart that we started out with. Ho hopefully that makes sense, because if I do that over here, and uh, I can even color this a little different so we can see what's going on, but, I mean, you can you can see what's, what's happening is that, uh, you know, that's a perfect match. We didn't lose any of the heart shape. Uh, when we did this. So uh, that's what we're going for in this video. We're going for maintaining the original shape of the text or the shape and still doing some split uh, type of design. Okay, so uh, I did exaggerate some of the shapes on here uh, as far as this, but you can tweak it however you like, but the process will be the same and hopefully that's what you will get out of this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change that color back so we can see what's going on. So the uh, the very first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want, you know, basically a clearing shape. And the, the clearing shape that we're going to use for this is a rectangle. Now it doesn't matter the, uh, the width of it, but the height of it does matter. And we just need a basic shape. And for this, we're going to utilize the square, but we're going to convert it to a rectangle. So uh, we have to unlock it right here, and then now we have free transform of movement with it. So you get it to the height that you want, and then you will place it on top of the object. And what I recommend is you highlight both the object and the rectangle, and you go up here to the align, and you center align everything. Okay, so this will line it horizontally and vertically. So as you can see, it just snapped together. And with those two shapes selected, you just go to Slice. Now this is going to give you some extra pieces, and we're just going to remove them. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete the inside piece of this as well as this. All right, so now we have the clearing gone. Now we need to add the bars that go on the top and the bottom. And for that, we're going to do the basic shape. Again, we're going to use a square. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to unlock it to give us free transform. And then we are going to uh, move this up to the shape that is needed. And we're going to go ahead and, um, you know, make it the length that we need. Now, I will do the exact same thing uh, with this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and align it for right now. And for this one, I just want to align it horizontally. And then with that shape uh, selected, I'm going to go down and duplicate it. And I'm going to go ahead and move it on top of the other shape. And I'm going to do it one more time uh, just so we can see how it looks and everything. I'm going to align it horizontally. So with that all selected, now we can go ahead and select everything and we can go to weld. Now keep in mind, like I told you before, that these these shapes right here, however it may look weird right now, uh, you know, the process is the same, but uh, you can utilize the technique in order to uh, preserve the original shape and still get the text or the clearing that you need uh, doing these methods. So, uh, you know, which one's more eye-pleasing to you? You know, of course, it's up to you. You can uh, utilize this design here if you like. But uh, I, I sort of like the the shape here where it maintains the shape integrity and you would still be able to utilize this as a split shape or split font type of design. 